I mean, I love I love Tolkien. I, I I love this like you know questions people are asking you. Know, it's like if like you had a chance to like talk to this, like you know someone that, like that's in heaven, like pretty much is already dead. Like who would you talk to? And part of me would would love to talk to Tolkien, but at the same time, part of me like having read like biographies about him, I'm like I think I might pass just a little, just <laughs> one time. <laughs> well, one you're a woman and. <laughs> He I'm not, probably like, like, yeah, I, I, I love, like, I love his books. I like, I even like, love him. Like this, like this biography is like him, itself is fascinating. If you, have, if you have a chance to read it, like he was an extremely interesting character. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the same time, I was like, I feel like I, I don't want the conversation to turn into. Have you thought of Catholicism? <laughs> I don't want because I'm into that. I'm sh- I'm I'm about certain it probably would turn and like you know have you have you are you aware of the the Holy Mother Mary? Yes, yeah, like you know, it's like it's like are you ready to give up being a Lutheran and become a Catholic? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've read the uh, Tolkien the biography by Humphrey Carpenter and then the Letters of Tolkien. So I've I've read a couple of tolkien's biography and stuff like yeah. that but because i i was actually going to ask you uh uh a question of like if if you could meet tolkien what would be the question you'd ask or what would you say to him well the question i would ask like if i were able to meet him is um where his fascination with linguistics comes from like you know how like how did like he develop such a love for like languages. Mm-hmm. How it, how did you become a philologist? Yeah. I like I like saying that word. <laughs> like he, he worked on the dictionary, so we have like you know, him the to Oxford thank Dictionary for, was know, written by dictionary. him. Yeah, um, he created his own languages with the Elvish and the Dwarvish. Like yes, he took inspiration from like other languages, but for the but he did create his own. It's language. a certified yeah. language that you can take yeah. college courses for. Yeah. So I'm like. I, I'm that that just fascinates me like that he not like not only was a, like, he loved languages but he also created his own to the point where it's like you can actually like she lobe actually stems from I believe older Middle English like lobe mm-hmm. spider so it's the she spider. spider yeah <laughs> I was like I, I just came just I became myself fascinated with how he came up with names and the uh, the, the different dialects and so forth for the different mm-hmm. races. Uh, that's what I would talk to him about. You know, it's like where did that right? Because like from? it's so in depth. Like a lot of people, you know, joke like he wrote the languages before he wrote the stories. It's like I have these languages. I need a story for these languages. Um, because that, that's how a lot of people think that it happened. Like, or some people say it's like, well, he wrote the language first, and then the story came to to fill the language, but the cart before the horse, the egg, the, the which came first, the chicken or the egg kind of thing. Like, a lot of people aren't 100% certain, but that, that's one of the theories. It's like, he made the language first, and he's like, well, I need to I need to figure out something to do with this language. <laughs> I think I think the Tolkien movie even touched upon that. I'm not saying, like, you know, it was necessarily accurate or anything, but... So, like, he did, like, now again, like, he like he loved, he's, like, work, working on the Oxford uh, Dictionary... It's five, five, uh, I can't even speak tonight, but you know what the word <laughs> I talk about. Talk Welcome to. to my channel where uh, I always, the English flows in yeah. this channel. <laughs> I, I speak good. I do speak well. <laughs> <laughs> I speak English good. But, but like that he like was coming up with different languages based on, like, you know, it's like his, his uh, research and everything. So he was coming up with languages, but I think like he basically, everything flowed together so it's not like he created the language first and then wrote the story i think like he in tolkien's mind because like i said he's a very fascinating character it all kind of just was like this in his head mm-hmm. like, like, he even wrote part of a like uh, uh, he while he was grading a paper he wrote like you know there was a hobbit that lived in a hole like, like the, the, the hole, first part of the hobbit and like <laughs> boom like and he's he, like, he's like just like this i'm so bored just slips it over just in the hole there lived the hobbit pretty much like he's writing <laughs> I would have loved to have been that student. Like, why can't I have my paperback? Well, I've actually started writing Your my back next is book. On your back of it. <laughs> like, you can't have your paperback, dear. Why? Because I'm writing my book on it. <laughs> that would have been amazing, man. Yeah, like, a- imagine being one of his students and it's like, it just so happens, like, your paper is like, 
yeah, you'll never have this paper back, and it'll be a it'll be a historical paper because it's going to be hidden away somewhere as you know historical archive of this is when Tolkien actually had the inspiration for his Hobbit. <laughs> Yes. It was so my like, paper. Like, did I at least get a B? Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've, I've always been curious, like, what was the grade for the paper he was grading? Was like, what happened? That's why I would wonder, too. It's like, we were, like, you know, it's like somewhere, somewhere there's a family that passed down that story because there has to be that student who couldn't get that paper back. It's like, you know, it's like, I'm the one that he wrote in the hold or lived a hobbit. <laughs> I should get credit for it, gosh dang <laughs> There'll be like some family, like a f few years from now. It's like actually that story was about my great great granddad, and I want I want my <laughs> reparations. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> I want my credit. Give it to me. I want my money. <laughs> that would like, be yeah. amazing. I got some royalties coming to me. Put my like, <laughs> next printing. I want my family's name in the book. Thanks to great 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 great. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Bro, if that was me though, I I'd seriously I'd be calling the toll estate and be like, excuse me, um, that's actually my granddad's paper that's that you talked about in your your uh, article. Yes, can I have credit, please? Because yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah, I would I'd do that. I'd be like, yeah, that's my great great granddaddy right there. Well, oh, I'd be like, I'd be boasting. I'd be like, I'd be, like, I'd, I'd be like on the phone with the Tolkien estates. Like, can I at least get a picture of it? <laughs> I want I want to see what was the grade. <laughs> like he never got the grade. Can you tell me the grade? <laughs> like he ends up not getting his degree because Tolkien <laughs> never turned in his paper. He never got a paper back. So he's like, <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy trying to work for his doctorate and he just I never knew what happened. <laughs> it's like all I know is I was told I can't can't have it back. And he was really happy about it. I guess I did good. <laughs> I'll just assume I got an A. He was Yes. He was smiling. <laughs> oh man. Uh <laughs> I just couldn't imagine like being one of their students. Granted, I don't think at that time Oxford wasn't accepting women yet, right? If I remember, I think time, if they were, it's like rare. Um, but okay, ma but mainly Oxford was like basically primarily male, male mm -hmm. university, I should say. If I if I had the opportunity, like if if I lived another life and I could be a dude and be at Oxford and be under Tolkien, like bro, I could. I can't imagine the lectures he would have gave, like. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he used his own like books as like for his like if he was teaching a philology class like you know language class it's like actually language is supposed to work like this if you'll notice an elvish here this pronoun and this adjective go this place and this this is the perfect uh tense of this verb here it's like I I honestly could see could see him doing doing that because like I said he was he would actually correct things. Like he would find, like even when working on the dictionary, he would find like you know some, something wrong, and he'd correct it because of his extensive knowledge of how language worked, the etymology of certain words, and just all that. So like, again, we have him to thank. Mm -hmm. <laughs>